So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what they're asking us to do is determine the amplitude and the period. All right. So what we discussed two class periods ago, um, when determining the period for sine and cosine, all that is is 2 pi divided by b. And the period, I'm sorry, that's the other way around. The amplitude is the absolute value of a, and the period is going to be 2 pi divided by b. Okay, So those are the formulas you're going to have to know. We're not going to put them on the board or have a formula sheet. You guys are going to have to know how to determine that. And this is only for sine and cosine. All right. So now we need to say is, well, where is a and where is b? So we go back to our general form of our sine and cosine function, which would be a sine of bx minus c plus d. All right. Where a is the coefficient of our function, whatever number is being multiplied by our function. So in this case, you can see we have a 3. So the absolute value of 3 is just equal to 3. There's your amplitude. The period is 2 pi divided by b, where b is your coefficient of x. Well, in this case, we have b is our 10. So our period is 2 pi divided by 10, which reduces down to pi over 5. OK? And that's it. Yeah, you can. Do you do those problems? Yeah. All right, I'll go and check them in a second. I'll just assume.